baby's first Zara order. So I'm gonna try to do a try on for you and for Instagram. Let's see how this works. Did y'all know there's a Real Housewives of Dubai? I'm about to watch it now. Um, also, there's a Real Housewives of, is it Lagos? And I'm really trying to figure out how to watch it. Um, whatever network or platform it's on is not available in the US. Very sad about that. Point is, can't watch it. Trying to find episodes on YouTube, the ones that I found are kind of blurry and I just, no. But all that to say, hey, I realized I didn't, um, I say all of that to say a lot. Um, I didn't tell y'all, you're not level, but it's fine. I didn't tell y'all what I thought about the suit. The suit fits fine. I don't like the shoulder blades. You'll, you'll see, or you probably already saw the shoulder blade or what do you call it? Shoulder pads. They're, it's giving 80s what the shoulder pads look like in the women's suits back then it kind of gives me a little bit of that i thought about trying to cut a little hole in there and see if i could pull it out but then i think it's going to look bad so i guess i'll just leave them and hope for the best but yes it's giving almost linebacker but it was my first zara purchase and i'm happy with it overall the fit was good whatever so I never really got, well, I never got anything off their website before because I don't like their website. It is a little overwhelming and confusing. If you've ever been on Zara's site, I think you might agree with me. And I've seen other people complain about it before, so I don't feel that bad. But yeah, we're just chit-chatting. Today is, I'm chilling. Um... I lost my train of thought I'm just chilling today just trying to because I feel as if I haven't really chilled much during this time that I've had off I've had sporadic moments of chill not just a consecutive day of just all day chill I might chill up until a point and then it's like okay I gotta go do this or chill up until the point oh, okay well now I gotta leave and go do that and today still isn't that day because I gotta leave here in a little bit whatever um stop saying um but yeah, we're chilling and just chilling. I'm trying to get my thoughts back and not ramble. I promise when I think about the things that I'm going to talk to y'all about, I sound so eloquent in my head and then the camera goes on and then I turn into a rambling idiot. So I'm looking at my list of things to talk about. It's only two things. My list of things to talk about. My birthday is less than a month away. I don't have anything planned. Before I changed jobs, I did have some time off, but I didn't have anything planned to do during that time that I would have had off. But now that we're, again, starting this new job, I no longer have time off. <laughs> I guess, thankfully, my birthday's on a Sunday, so it's not like, and, I've had this thing for years where I don't work on my birthday. So again, it's a Sunday, so I don't have to work the day after is the fourth. So I won't have to work that day. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's fine. And I'm definitely going to make it a point to take a good week, if not more, maybe a week and a half off because I definitely plan to go somewhere to celebrate my 40th. I can't believe I'm going to be 40 next year, but we're not, that's 
That's 2023's problem. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, we're let's focus on now. So all that, yeah, I don't have anything planned for my birthday except to try to, as I mentioned before, get this book done. And I'm just realizing how I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just watching a lot of YouTube videos and hoping I'm making the right decisions while also not trying to spend all this money. This is a very close shot for that. I apologize. Mm, what else do I want to talk to y'all about? Doctor Strange was cool. I mentioned it in the previous vlog and I didn't want to say anything for anybody who hasn't seen it before. Um, I'll say to you what my mentor said to me that I agree with. He was saying how he likes Doctor Strange as a supporting character, not so much as his own. And I agree. Kind of same like as Black Widow. Did she need her own movie? So supporting, that's cool. You know, whatever. And then also I low-key feel like they're trying to make him Tony only in the sense of keep they keep putting kids on him you know what i'm saying so he's kind of become like a backup mentor to spider-man now that tony's gone and if you've seen the second the multiverse movie there's another child involved in that movie as well and i'm like why y'all keep putting all these kids on dr strange <laughs> he don't want it he told y'all he don't like kids um but yeah the movie was cool i i have more thoughts but i'll it's it is what it is i'm excited for the thor movie oh will it be out before my birthday no i think the thor movie comes out after my birthday but i think maybe i'll go see the jurassic park movie for my birthday i think that comes out soon i, I think it comes out this month in june so i'm not sure if it'll still be in theaters but i'll try but maybe maybe that's what i'll do is go see the new jurassic park movie <sighs> yeah it's a slow it's a slow time again we're trying to wash the stank off from previous experiences decompress recenter you know get our mind focused on what we hope to achieve with this new role and and being different and better and learning more and a sponge and pleasant and all the things and I kind of feel like I've done so much running around, but not really, but still not to the point where I'm as focused as I need to be. So now there's the pressure to focus. <laughs> Does any of that make sense? I hope so. I think I'm rambling though. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. It's been four minutes of me rambling. So yeah, I'm done. I'll see y'all later. Hey, it's been brought to my attention that I did not share with you guys what I got from when I went to the outlets brain fart on my part but also i didn't get that much so i'm going to show you really really quickly because again it's literally two things what i got when i went to the outlets in the last vlog that i put up so stand by i just got these jeans from guests that was my main objective was jeans and i typically like to get my jeans from express but wait are these the ones that yeah <laughs> i typically get my jeans from express but they didn't have um the sale that they had I didn't like it was buy a pair of jeans for $80 and get a second pair for five and I just thought that was excessive so I went to guess and got some jeans and then I got this watch from there as well and that's it just I did want not need another watch and my goal was to get a gold watch but this one's cute too I need to tighten the band but that's all I got from the outlets and then that cookie I showed y'all. It's always my objective to go to either Great American Cookie, especially if I'm at the outlets, but if I'm not, anytime I can find a Great American Cookie, which you'll usually find at them all, and if I can't get those, I like Tiff's Treats, Chocolate Chip Cookies, or Snickerdoodle, or the M&M Cookies. Like, cookies are mandatory when I'm near them all, or Tiff treat, Tiff's Treats. So, that's all we got. Just a little, little something. Okay, bye. Thanks.
tired. Um, ugh, I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm just checking in to say, hey, I'm about to heat up some leftovers. I made my lemon garlic chicken. I had four pieces of chicken. I ate two on Sunday, one on yesterday. On yesterday? One yesterday, and now that just leaves me with what I have here. Um, I'm so out of it, so I'm not even really sure why I decided to pick this camera up. Um, also, okay. Why didn't I heat up vegetables? <laughs> Let me get myself together and, and I'll be back. I need to eat. I'm out of it. About to have meeting. I don't know what's going on in the background, but ignore it. I'm about to have meeting two of four for today. So pray for me. The light beat. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. You see that? This is from my first move. Okay, I can't obviously open it and hold the camera. This is from before I moved and I always kept my Cinema Secrets soap near the kitchen sink because that's where I wash my makeup brushes. Well, after I moved, I would usually keep it in this little thing here. Well, when I moved and I packed this, I couldn't find my soap. So I bought another one. Literally uh, Monday. It's Friday. And on Friday, I just so happened I was wiping down my counter with my Clorox wipes here. And I moved them just ever slightly so to the left hand side. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm very, I'm very much annoyed because that Cinema Secret Soap, while she is, she is the truth, she is also $26, $26, and I was like, and I didn't know that because I was going to buy the Beauty Blender one, those are $16, just in case you're curious at Ulta, those are $16 at Ulta, and I was going to buy that one, but I was like, no, I really like the Cinema Secret, I mean, I like them both, but the Cinema Secrets one gives it a little more oomph. So I paid $26 for a re-up that I did not need because my, my makeup brushes, my dirty ones, child, they're piling up. And I've only been washing a few at a time, but that's neither here nor there. Point is, I'm mad that I just spent $30, might as well say, on a product that I had the whole time had I just not had the underneath of my sink looking like a, like a, I need coffee because I can't can't be as witty as I want to be this early in the morning but you see what I'm saying the underneath of my sink look crazy hiding products that I thought I'd lost that was there the whole time this whole time has been like if you just move these plastic bags ma'am that black people always got to keep in their house plastic bags and the plastic bags that you use for trash bags then you would know that I'm here and uh, yeah let me make some coffee yeah cuz I'm behind schedule Okay, yeah, I'm 13 minutes behind schedule. So we're just going to chit chat while I get my coffee together. I'm convinced this place was made by or for a left handed person because everything is so, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, this should be on the other side. I'm just used to, what am I doing? I don't really, well, I know. Hold on for a second. So anyway, I know the last time I came to y'all, I was all over the place. So it's week one. And y'all know how that is when you start a new venture. It's just, it's a little overwhelming, not in a bad way, but just it's a lot going on. So I didn't sleep well Sunday night because, you know, anxious. And then it was just kind of a 
snowball from there and then you know I'm on I'm on 12 all day so yeah it was just it was a lot to kind of adjust to and I was just tired is the moral of the story but I'm starting to get back on a sleep schedule because the time that I spent in between jobs, I was staying up to three, four o'clock in the morning, you know, whatever. But yeah, now we're back on track. I'm just having, but now we're back on track and I'm feeling better about it. Cause if there's one thing you don't know about me, child, is I'm not gonna stick around somewhere where I'm just not happy. So, I think all the years and TV is what kind of worked that muscle for me because I I always felt the need to stick around places where I wasn't happy whether it's by contract or maybe thinking that there was nothing better out there or whatever but now it's like I'm as I'm getting older and I'm progressing in my career I'm learning my worth and what I'm not gonna do is stick around somewhere where I'm not being served and I could get into that, but I'm not. But you, that's the gist of what I was gonna say. But my initial point was I'm feeling really good about the choice I made, really, really good. I'm really, despite, again, being a little tired, I feel good about my choice. I'm happy, and I just hope that this feeling lasts. Can we make it last forever? No, let me. <clears throat> just, no. <laughs> Maybe I, I can't do it right now. I'm not. Have I had water? I have had water. So that was my weak ass attempt at trying to sing some Snow Lake or don't. Mm -mm. Don't judge me based off that. Y'all know when I can do it. I will do it, but I can't right now. <sighs> so yeah, it's a good day. I need to do some research on some stuff that I'll be doing. I have two meetings today and it's just going to be a good day. Like I said, we're feeling good. We're feeling positive. We're feeling happy. We're feeling, as I've mentioned previously before, that this is my moment, that I've earned this, that it's just it's my moment it's my time and I'm, I'm I'm letting it wash over me because I felt like it wasn't my time for quite some time and so now that it appears to be my time it's like yes revel in it mm-hmm mm-hmm so ooh, oh you can kind of see me better but yeah man um I also they gave me a monitor I'm gonna try to connect that today she says with conviction I don't I feel like this is better I mean, kind of, because I'm backlit. Yeah, but that that's all. Just come to say hey and happy Friday. Cheers. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey yo, I was on the plane with Dwayne. You could call me Whitley, I go to Hill, Maine. But nobody's in my lane. Give him a hanky. Give me my blankie. Acting like the Cardinals are gonna fumble. <laughs> Hi. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna include that clip in the vlog. If I do not, I was just having a little dance party. I'm feeling good. It's Saturday. I've been a little trifling because I do not have a video ready. Normally, I have a video every saturday at noon and while i do have a video that i recorded it mm, while i do have a video that i recorded i have yet to finish editing it <sighs> i was in the process of editing it and i was like eh eh like i wasn't moved i'm still gonna finish it and put it up but i it just didn't move me 
it's a review of a product I just got. And y'all know I'm not, I don't feel that confident in my ability to review things. So I'm just kind of like, don't put it up because you, your review is dumb. That's what my voice is telling me, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hold on for a second. So I have some work to do tomorrow. I will be, uh, wait a minute. I will be editing my, basically I have my, <laughs> I have my book proofread and I'm just, I need to go and make the edits. So I'll be doing that. I don't think it's going to be out in time for my birthday, which is fine. And I felt, I, I'm so, I'm so happy. My uh, former mentor, now friend, he said, he just, he just gave me a really nice note about the book and it just makes me feel even more motivated to get it done. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take some time tomorrow and make all these edits that he's suggesting, but suggesting, but yeah, it was a good day. I, you know, I normally try to stay in the house on Saturdays to regroup, especially after having had such a long week, but I went out, um, my sister took me out, it was a celebration. So she took me out to celebrate me and made me feel special. And so we just went and had some good sister time. And I didn't get any video because I was just being in the moment. You yeah, know, but that's it. We just went to um, Maggiano's. I'm sure they're like a chain. So there's that, but it's a good day. Um, I was fully prepared to come here and take a nap and then I started listening to Nicki Minaj and then I started dancing and now I don't know if I'm gonna nap or not, but I think I want to because I didn't nap on Friday. So we need to nap today. So yeah, I'm excited. I don't know about what, napping, I guess? I don't know, y'all. I need to finish editing this video. I'm gonna try to get it up today. It's, it's not that much involved in it, but it's like my I'm not as excited about this as I am other videos. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. So I'm gonna stop talking. Hope y'all are having a good day and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Good morning. I am so, 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 so proud of myself. I am not the most technologically advanced, but I am someone who observes and watches and I'm not afraid to Google. Um, I have successfully connected my monitor to, or I'm sorry, I have successfully connected my laptop Ignore my napkin. I did it, I did it. And I started on it last night. I was just very eager to, to get it going. I've had this monitor for a week now. And I was like, I'm not ready, to, I'm not ready to tackle it. And then I started last night and I finished it this morning and I was so happy. And then I had the issue of, I can't connect the keyboard to the, to the thing. But now I got that taken care of. 
so I can successfully type misspellings, but it's okay. And I'm just, I'm so proud of myself because I, again, I just watch people when they do stuff. And if I can try to be like, okay, I remember this happened and there's a chip in the mouse that you got to put in the thing. And I was just like, and I almost missed it. And again, I'm just, if you black girl, if you black girl, if you black girl, I don't know. Anyway, we, yeah, we're just, we're proud. We're in a, we're in a good mood today. And it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. So just coming to say hi. I look, I don't look that bad, but a little bit. I have a meeting in 36 minutes. So I think I'm going to put some, I think I'm going to fill my brows in. Just because, yeah, and we'll, we'll proceed with our regularly scheduled programming. But just want to check in and say hey and let y'all know that I'm over here being an independent woman with the technology and we are proud okay um i guess that'll do it and or it'll do it for now anyway so i'll see y'all later What's up? I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog because per usual, I don't know, I don't know what I've been doing. I don't know what I've been up to other than work. It's week two, still feeling good and positive. I think I told y'all that. Um, I finally figured out how to get my monitor set up. So when I work from home, I have a monitor and I'm not just working off my desktop. So that's always great. Um, what else is going on? It's another one of those things where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get on the camera and talk about this, this, and this, and then you know if I don't have my list, then this is what happens, rambling. I'm considering making the vlogs weekly again, but I wanna, I just need to figure out what that looks like. Maybe one's a little more specific, in what way, I don't know. And then another is just random, like <laughs> my normal vlogs. I've seen people do stuff like a productive week in my life. I don't know what that looks like for my life, but I've been watching um, vlogs with people who say stuff like that. So maybe that'll give me some insight. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore, but I feel like I need to switch it up, spice it up, do something different, especially since the makeup videos are going to come to a close. Um, I don't have any plans on Saturday. I My plan on Saturday is to do nothing. That is my plan, nothing. Are you free? Nope, I got plans to do nothing. So, and by nothing, I mean I don't plan to go anywhere, but I do plan to record two videos on Saturday. Oh my God, how can we not talk about the elephant in the room? I don't know what my skin is gonna look like. Maybe the camera is so far away you can't tell, but my skin is peeling something crazy. And of course I went into the office today and I was like, don't look at me. <laughs> On my Christina Aguilera, don't look at me. Um, just trying to get rid of the pimples. My skin is drying out. And I called myself hydrating it last night and woke up this morning and it was peel central. And I was like, let's put foundation on top of that. That seems smart insert sarcasm uh yeah so i was just really trying to keep my distance from people for all the obvious reasons and then also because i didn't want anybody to look at my face i scheduled another appointment for a dermaplaning i got one in february of last year i had to go and look and to see how long it'd been and that's basically where they take that scalpel and remove dead skin a layer of skin i don't know but I'm hoping that will help me with my dry skin situation because, yeah, there's that. Um, so I'm doing that for myself as like a pre-birthday thing. Speaking of, my birthday is in um, 
like maybe I don't know the date today is the what today's the 15th I don't know how many days are in June my birthday is in like two weeks so there's that and I'm having this first world champagne problem of I want to buy stuff now for my birthday but then it's like but if you have all the things now then what are you actually gonna buy for you for yourself on the birthday so we're having that first world problem just a celebration of myself and in another year of life and just being better than we were yesterday the day before the year before all of the things yeah i don't remember my point oh my skin looks great oh so yeah me getting the dermaplaning is a because i need it and i hope it helps and also because it's like a pre-birthday thing so my nails are in desperate need of a fill but i was trying to save that as a pampering for the birthday but we can't wait two weeks because they already look crazy now so i think i'm gonna go get my nails done on why do i say it like that nails nails i was saying nails I think I'm gonna go get my nails done on Monday. If I can wait that long, it's Wednesday. And they still should look good by my birthday. I'm also going to get a pedicure closer to the date. Um, I would love to get my hair done, but my hairdresser, she's so good, she booked and busy. I can't get a I can't get an appointment before my birthday, but that's my fault. I should have booked it in advance. So that's my that's my bad. But uh yeah. That's basically all it's going to be. So I think we're going to wrap up the vlog. I don't really know what else. I don't think I have anything else to say. Mm. I'm so random. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go ahead and end it now. Thank y'all for taking the time to watch. You know the drill. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see from me, let me know um yeah i think that'll do it for now so be good and until next time bye